A very good morning to all. So in the last class, we learned about leaves. What did we learn? We learned about parts of a leaf, the functions of a leaf. And today we are going to learn about the next three parts. That is the flower, fruit and the seed. The three parts, that is the flower, fruit and the seed, helps the plant to grow into a new plant. So let's discuss the first one. That is the flower. You can see flower is the most colorful part on a stem. And you can, when you look around, you can see different kinds of flowers. And are they look similar? Are all flowers look the same? No. So flowers differ in their color, shape and size. So there are flowers which are big like sunflower and there are flowers which are small. And there are flowers which have a nice smell like the rose, jasmine. All these flowers gives a good fragrance, that means good smell. And the flowers booms from a bud. And the flowers are the most colorful part on the stem. And the flowers changes into fruit. Then do you know what is the food of the bees and butterflies? They feed on nectar. Do you know what is a nectar? Nectar means the sweet liquid which is in the flower which is called as the nectar. And this nectar is a food for these bees and butterflies. They feed on this nectar. So that is about the flower. So flowers are the most colorful and the most beautiful part on the stem. And you can see different kinds of flowers. Next let's see about fruits. You all, do you all like fruits? You can see most plants bears fruit. Flowers change into fruit and you can see different kinds of fruits. And fruit is the most tastiest part on the stem. So do you all like fruits? Fruits are very tasty, juicy and even eating foods are healthy for you. It is healthy for your, it is good for your body. And most of the plants bear fruits. And you can see different kinds of fruits. And this, you can see seeds. Seeds hide inside the fruit. Or you can say fruits protect these seeds. And there are fruits which have one seed. There are fruits which have many seeds. And there are fruits which have no seeds. Like mango. Mango is a fruit which have one seed. And do you know which all fruits have many seeds? Like uh, the watermelon, papaya, all these fruits have many seeds. And there are also fruits which have no seeds, like pineapple. So the fruit protects a seed inside it. And the flowers change into a fruit. So fruit is the most tastiest part on a stem. Now let's see about seeds. So as I discussed, seeds are inside a fruit. Or you can say seeds hide inside a fruit. Seeds grow into a new plant. So new plant grows from a seed. And each seed have a baby plant. When this baby plant gets air, water and soil, it starts growing. It grows into a plant. So most of the plants grow from the seed. And the seeds hide inside the fruit. Or you can say fruit protects the seed. So this is the three different other parts of the plant. That is the flower, fruit and the seed. Which helps the plant to grow into a new plant. So what did we learn in this lesson? We learned about parts of a plant. And first we learned about different kinds of plants. Then we learned about parts of a plant. That is the root, stem and the leaves. What is the function? What are their function? It helps the plant to get water, to grow and to make food. And the flower, fruit and the seed which helps the plant to grow into a new plant. So that is about the chapter parts of a plant. Now let's see the exercise. Now let's discuss the exercise. In page number 19 there are some questions. Underline the correct word to complete 
each sentence. So let's see the question. Leaves, flowers are called food factory of the plant. So which part is called as the food factory of a plant? The leaves. So you can underline the word leaves. See the next one. Mangoes have one or many seeds. How many seeds do mangoes have? It has only one seed. So you can underline the word one. The third one, seeds or flowers have a baby plant in them. So which part has the baby plant? The seed. From the baby plant, it grows into a new plant. So you can underline the word seeds. Now we can take page number 14 in your textbook. So what we learned in that chapter, what we learned about roots. So there are some questions based on the root. So tick the correct option. What holds the plant firmly to the soil? So you have to tick the right answer. There are two options. Roots, stem. So which part hold the plant firmly? The root. So the answer is root. See the second one. A plant needs healthy roots to grow well. Is it right or wrong? It is true. Yes, plants need healthy root to grow. Otherwise, the plants cannot live. The plant dies. So the plants need a healthy root to grow. Now coming to page number 15, there are also some questions. Let's discuss the answers. Mango plants have two options, tap root, fibrous root. So mango plant have which root, tap root or fibrous root? We learned mango plants have tap root. So what is tap root? Do you all remember what is tap root? Plants which have one main root from which smaller roots are growing, which is called tap root. And what is fibrous root? In fibrous root, do they have a main root? No, only separate roots growing from the base of the plant. So mango plants have tap root. See the second one, wheat plants have tap root, fibrous root. So the answer, what is the answer? The answer is fibrous root. They have separate roots growing from the base of the plant. Now coming to page number 20, let's start with the first exercise. So you have five questions given. You have to tick the correct answer. So we have options. First, I'll read out the question and the option and you can tick the right answer. So once you have done, we'll discuss the answers. So let's start with the first one. Which part of the plant hold it firmly in the soil? So let's read the options. Stem, leaf, root, seed. So you can tick the right answer. The second one. Which of these plants have fibrous roots? Bean, grass, mango, neem. The third one. Which part of a plant has stomata? Leaf, root, flower, fruit. Moving on to the fourth one. Which of these plants has taproot? Sugarcane, wheat, bean, maize. The fifth one. Which part of a banana plant makes food? Root, leaf, fruit, flower. So now let's discuss the answers. So what is the first one? Which part of the plant holds it firmly to the soil? It is the root. Root hold a plant firmly to the soil. So what is the next one? What is the answer for the second one? Which of these plants has fibrous root? The answer is grass. See all other options. Bean, mango, neem. All these plants have tap root. Tap root means plant with one main root from which smaller roots are growing. So all other plants have tap root and grass has fibrous root. See the third one. Which part of a plant has stomata? What is the answer? It is the leaves. The tiny pores which are present on the leaves are called as stomata. Moving on to the fourth one. What is the answer? Which of these plants has tap root? Bean. So bean is the right answer for all other sugarcane, wheat and maize have maize have fibrous root. Fifth one, which part of a banana plant makes food? You all know leaves make food for the plant. So what is the answer? The answer is leaf. Moving on to the second exercise, that is true or false. You have five questions given. You can tick, 
You can tick for the true statements and cross for the false statements. First, I'll read out the question. You can tick or cross the correct answers. Then we'll discuss the answers. So see the first question. All mango trees have the same type of leaves. Second one. Leaf veins are found only on large leaves. The third one. All plants have the same kind of roots. The fourth one. Air enters a plant through its tomato. And the fifth one. A seed has a baby plant in it. So hope you have done. So let's see the answers. The first one, all, ma all mango trees have the same type of leaves. Is the answer true or false? The answer is true. All mango trees have the same type of leaves. The second one, leaf veins are found only on large leaves. What is the answer? The answer is false. All leaves have leaf veins. Leaf veins carry food and water. Third one, all plants have the same kind of root. Is the answer yes or no? The answer is false. There are some plants have tap root and some plants have fibrous root. The fourth one, air enters a plant through its tomato. So the answer, answer is true. The tiny pores which are present on the leaf are called as stomata and the air enters the leaf, the air enters the plant through this stomata. Then the fifth one, a seed has a baby plant in it. What is the answer? The answer is true. The seed has a baby plant in it. So which grows into a new plant. Now let's discuss the third question. So here there are some questions you can fill the answers. So you can, what, what you have to do is you can pause the video, see the question and fill in the blanks. Once you have done, we'll discuss the answers. So hope you have done. So let's see the answers. So here you can see the drawings and based on the drawings you have to fill in the blanks. So see the leaf, you can see the picture of a leaf. So there you have to write in that space you have to write leaf. The leaf, flower, fruit, root and stem are parts of a plant. Then the root absorbs, you can see water. Then water for the plant. The leaves use sunlight, water and carbon dioxide to make food for the plant. Most plants bear flowers. The flower forms a fruit with one or more seeds. The seed can form a new plant. So this is the answer for the following questions.